Wild weather is in the forecast for Newfoundland and Labrador as the remnants of Hurricane Gonzalo churn by early tomorrow. The province's southeast Avalon region could bear the brunt of the storm. And as Shirley Engel reports, it has already battered Bermuda. Hurricane Gonzalo headed for Bermuda as a Category 3, but it weakened to a 2 by the time it came ashore, leaving a path of crushed trees, downed power lines, and impassable roads in its wake. Sustained winds of 175 kilometers per hour caused flooding and damaged buildings, including the main hospital and the legislature in the tiny British territory. Though it was a long night for residents and tourists, there were no reported deaths. I don't think that we thought it would be this bad um, approaching and now. Well, what are you going to do? It's too late. Gonzalo has now moved north over the Atlantic, heading for Canada's east coast. The Canadian Hurricane Center says there's a 30% chance the storm could make landfall in southeastern Newfoundland overnight, packing heavy rain, high winds and waves. Global News weather specialist Sonia Beeksma says it will likely be downgraded to a Category 1. We expect it to pass just southeast of the Avalon Peninsula early Sunday morning. We'll still see wind gusts up to 130 kilometers an hour and very large swells, four to five meters and let's not forget about the rainfall up to 25 millimeters through some areas per hour. The offshore Hibernia oil rigs located just over 300 kilometers from St. John's could be hit with strong winds. A storm that's kept forecasters on their toes now just hours away. Canadians in Gonzalo's path are bracing for some nasty wet weather and possible power outages. Shirley Engel, Global News.